what will it be like when light meets light? This is a lot of gelatinous scattered colored glass. Open and take a look. Different colors of light are projected and meet on the wall, overlapping and combining. Can this phenomenon and the theory of painting with light coexist? Stop. The... Actually, this method is simple. Just understand the relationship between light and color. First, turn on a light source. The more layers of inherent color a glass projects, the stronger the light will be blocked. This will also reduce brightness based on color changes. If multiple light sources are each illuminating different glasses, at this time, after the colors overlap, the change in hue is accompanied by an increase in brightness. So if you want to paint over the light, I just need to design a combination layer containing basic it's colors very good and then use the above two methods to change colors to make two groups of Applying images. Material you to this just triangle. need to make and assemble the glass and flower house with patience. It's like piecing together a complex puzzle. The design of the drawings requires a test of imagination on color and space. I guess someone is thinking about using a projector instead. Haha, uh -huh. yes, this inspiration came out when I was full. The final placement and adjustment is more complicated than I imagined. In order for the three groups of lights to converge at one point, the positions of the lamps and glass must be exactly right, otherwise there will be double shadows. Yes. This episode is another work that looks good, but turns out to be useless when done. Finally finished. This is the full view of the entire device. Three parts. Three sets of glass. So, you got it. Each piece of glass is like each of us, emitting a beam of bright colored lights. We meet each other in this world and create infinite colorful colors. Meeting light is a beautiful thing. Oh shit.